Hey there, answering some Tumblr asks for Bearded Boggin. I, this is my second attempt at recording this. The first time I recorded it over by the fountain and that turned out to be a little loud, strangely enough. So, uh, he asks to me to tell him one thing that terrifies me or terrified me, one thing that makes me happy and one thing that I, in which I firmly believe. So, starting with the terrified, um, I'm going to go back to when I was a kid, uh, around the age of four, five, six, somewhere in there. I had a recurring dream for years, a nightmare, that started in my closet and wended its way through other areas that I knew of the city. And that included uh, a ship that was part of... Uh, the sort of exploration area in the Royal BC Museum. Now, that ship is still there. It's part of a ship. It basically shows what the living conditions would have been like for the captain and the first mate and uh, sort of the, the people who were the first explorers in the area and those who came over in early um, shipping expeditions um, and basically it's one of those things that for whatever reason I, I couldn't tell you what happened in that dream now um, I feel like I might have seen something that freaked me out in there but at any rate whenever we went to the museum I couldn't go in that ship I would have to walk around the outside and wait for my uh, family on the other side and that was just weird, but it, I got over it eventually. And now I, I go back there and I walk through and I think, you know, it's so strange what the brain can do, but it absolutely terrified me for years. One thing that makes me happy. Um, I spent several years working on a list of 100 things that make me happy. And I will link to that when I post this video. But one of the top ones is nature and I would actually qualify that in that what I really love is water in nature whether that is a stream or, an, or a river waterfall or the ocean um, being born and raised on the west coast of Canada I really love the Pacific Ocean and the Salish Sea that surrounds Vancouver Island um, I, when I lived away, it was the one thing that I wanted to go to when I came back. I missed the scent of the ocean. Um, it's different than the Atlantic, and it's, it, it smells like home. There's also a, um, a saying that anything can be cured with salt water, whether that's tears, sweat, or the ocean. And I definitely agree with that sentiment. One thing in which I firmly believe, I'm going to go with fate, but not in a you don't have any free will kind of fate, not the kind of, you know, every step of your life is preordained, but more in the, the Whovian sense of fixed points in time, that there are events that will happen, there are places you will go, there are people you will meet that are inevitable. And I firmly believe that. I believe that especially about people that we meet in our lives, people that come into our lives for a reason, people who leave our lives for a reason, um, and places that we're meant to go and to be. And that's why sometimes you go to a new city and it instantly feels like home because it's it's one of those fixed points and it's just meant to be so yeah I really firmly believe in in that sort of fate and that aspect of it so there's my answers for bearded boggin and if anyone wants to ask me more, my ask box is always open. You can ask anonymously if you're feeling cheeky. And I will answer them happily on video uh, if it's appropriate.